what is up guys Holder here welcome back to some more advanced wars days of ruin we're moving on to chapter nine the beast okay because the last time the beast uh was aided by his name was there but i don't think anyone said it uh, call caldwell or something main vampire scientist dude did something to give the make the beast like frenzied or something i i don't know he has help now so moving on we have airports and three factions it looks like oh wait no i thought it was three factions the bottom left corner of water i thought was a blue faction <laughs> so it does not seem to be the case okay oh brenner i need to talk to you is it true that the girl traveling you is sick yes it's true it's nothing you need to worry about though the virus only affects people under a certain age. No one in your group is in danger. That's not the point. Sickness and disease make people nervous. And nervous people panic. I can't have that. You gotta get rid of her. We can't afford the risk. Uh, I think you need to stop talking now. We're in this together, all of us. Is that clear? Uh, no, it's not. Would you put us all in danger to pre protect one girl? I would put you in danger, yes. We don't know who she is or where she came from. She has to go, Brenner. Listen carefully, because I'm only going to say this once. No one gets left behind. Not you or your people, not Will, and not Isabella. If you have a problem with that, you're free to leave whenever you want. You, you fool. You're, you're too soft, Brenner. This goes wrong. It's on your head, and I'll hold you personally responsible. Are you going to try to assassinate her or something? I could see it happening. How's Isabella doing, Dr. Morris? Uh, going to worry no matter what I tell you, so here's the truth. It's not good, Will. She needs medicine, and she needs it now. Can I see her? Absolutely not. We've had this conversation before. This virus is most dangerous to people of your age. I won't allow you to see her. But Dr. Morris, I... Once we get to the shelter, there's a good chance I'll be able to treat her. But until then, you have to stay away. You don't want to get sick, too, do you? I don't care. What would it matter anyway? If I don't see her now, I may never get the chance to apologize. So please. Your apology can wait, boy. I'm more concerned with her well-being, and you should be, too. What's that supposed to mean? I don't wish to betray Dr. Patient confidentiality, but I have spoken to her. Uh, what's troubling her most is the fear that she's become a burden to us. She thinks it would have been better if she died before you found her. How can she think that? But she hasn't given up hope. And she never even complains about the pain. The other creeper patients I've treated have all begged me to end their suffering. But Isabella has chosen to live, and you know why? It's because she owes that life to you. She believes that if she refuses to give up, We'll find a way to cure her. Her first memory of you, uh, her first memory is of you telling her she was going to be all right. She trusts you implicitly, the way a newly hatched chick trusts its mother. <laughs> mother will. She believes everything you told her about having hope. I suggest you believe it too. You're right. I'm sorry, Dr. Morris. Thank you. No need to apologize. I can't allow you to see her, but no, oh, yes, you could try speaking to her through the door. Really? Would that be okay? Certainly, just for a little while, though. This route leads directly to the foothills of the Serata Mountain Range. However, Recon reports those raiders are back and blocking the way. Set up an ambush, have they? It seems they really are hellbent on revenge. We're gonna have to finish this once and for all. Advance. Okay, Brenner theme. Come in, Captain Brenner. Dr. Morris here, and I've got great news. This airport we found is in fine working condition. You can produce new air units whenever you need them. Roger that, Doc. Air support will be well. Okay. Uh, let's... Mission tactics. Come on, Will. This one's a cakewalk. You shouldn't need my help. I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> I'm not, Will. C Captain Brenner? Sir, I'm sorry, sir. I spoke out of turn. I just wanted to encourage you all, sir. There are no easy battles, sir. Not even the easy ones. Sorry, sir. Hey, you never apologized to me. Stop it, soldier. See? Yes, at any rate, this stage lacks factories. Guard your infantry units carefully or you won't be able to capture cities. Use fighters and dusters to strike the enemy near, uh, early and often. And strike his anti-air and missile units as soon as you can. Bombers work well for this purpose, especially against missiles. That's all solid strategy, then. Thank you, Captain. My pleasure. She never tells me it's her pleasure. Or she never tells me it's her pleasure. Stop that grumbling, soldier. 
I hope my tips help you win the day, sir. Jesus. Oh, they got war tank on the HQ. Okay, anti-air missile. Anti-tank copters, copters. There we go. Yeah, can only attack other copters. Rockets, rockets, duster. What's good against a dust? Is there fighter? With fighters, you can take on other air units. When it comes to air combat, fighters are second to none. Have we already used a fighter? Didn't we just use them like two chapters ago? Maybe we didn't have one. Maybe they're, they're just enemy ones I was fighting. Now let's take out the enemy air units. 80, huh? Okay. This unit must be... It's a duster. It can attack ground units as well as other air units. It's not as powerful as a fighter or a bomber, but good to have nonetheless. Right, I studied them at the academy. They're inexpensive and versatile. Good memory, Will. Now I'll use them to attack those nearby ground units. Uh, yeah, ground units. That's what I'm going to attack. And not make sure this duster dies. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't great. With bombers, you can attack ground and naval units. Bombers are very powerful and can even take out tanks with one strike. Utilize your bombers to attack the enemy's ground units. Yes, yes. Uh, I just need to be cautious. This guy here. 95, maybe, maybe we'll roll into a kill. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, APCs. Rig. Rig. What's wrong with APC? It's, you, you kept it three letters still. Why change it to rig? Uh, oh, maybe rigs can be used to build temporary airports. Oh, wait, what the fuck? That looks like a good spot. Move there and commence construction. Rigs can respawn units in Jason squares, transport troops, and build a single... Okay, there's the... There's my answer. That's why it's changed names. <laughs> Holy shit. What? That's insane. Oh, like actually kind of bad shit insane. What? It sounds so broken. ground units with that there's like none uh, none safe anyway hold on let me I'll go there uh copters are a good use of that too good the rig crew has gotten started select build on your next turn to continue construction that's right keep building we've all got a uh, got our part to do or whatever Rigs can build temporary airports on planes and temporary ports on beaches. As with capturing, construction requires 20 HP. Wow. I, okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see, dusters are more expensive than copters, okay. I would rather buy copters for a fight like this, too. I'll buy a transport copter. Where the hell am I? Where did all these copters and tanks come from? Oh, my head. Wait, it's Soldier Boy. Time for the beast to hunt. Okay, he just came out of his frenzy.
Oh, but they can do it too. Okay. Oh, the dead just fuck up. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> 15. Okay, I am gonna attack this because I'm assuming, since, especially since they compared it to capturing, that it'll take multiple turns to finish that now. shot the missiles so the missiles are gonna fire on something okay fuck that up a bit the build excellent work that temporary airport is open for business temporary airports allow air units to be refueled and repaired looks like the rigs run out of building materials building materials Certain units can use construction material to build temporary bases on beaches and planes. Some units can even use it to build other units. So there's more than just... Okay. Battlecopter. Um, as far as this duster goes... This guy's gonna be shot by the copter. Okay. About time you showed your ugly mugs. Why are you doing this? Get out of our way. We have to save Isabella. Is a what up? You think I care what you're doing? I want blood. You may have tanks and guns and men at your command, but you're not a soldier. You're nothing but a murderer. A <laughs> murderer? Me? And you're a snot-nosed bum. I... War is murder, you hear me? Soldiers are trained to kill. That's battlefield learning, punk. Your textbooks teach you that, huh? You want to learn about war? Fine by me. The beast will teach you good. Okay, yeah, it does. Oh, okay. Oh, because it healed. Oh, that... That was big. Let's say, why did that do so much? Now, okay, like RIP tech score already because it's so fucking strict, it's kind of ridiculous. The rig itself have to... Okay. Uh... I guess I screwed that up. Either I misunderstood something or it was, you know, the, your time old... Uh... Advanced is not explaining things well. I don't know which, what to blame. Probably a little of both. Uh, shit. Okay. I kind of like blocked that guy in. Put that over there. Duster. A duster on this guy. Take out this copter. Pull you out 
here. No need for another one. And I guess you, are there any? Yeah. kill me not quite so do that and then that okay so I do I need to use this to They say airport, it's not for... It could... Uh, they can build units, but this is not one that can build units. But something in the future can build units is what's going on. It's just for repairs and resupply. And I think this is the, ca the timer for when that goes away? Question mark? Or we're gonna be we're gonna have an absolutely <laughs> horrendous score uh doing this uh there's just a lot like there's so many units that can't do anything too this is end turn Oh, I don't think I, I somehow completely missed the, the top corner. It's fine. Maybe that, or maybe, maybe I didn't. I don't know anymore. I do not know anymore. One of those. Okay, if we blow up the rig. Doesn't take that with it. Okay. build more copters every turn and oh we can fire on you i was like what else can we even really do this is a weird one this is air versus tank so like nothing's really happening oh shit is it zero Five. Okay, we can kill this guy. Or not. Must have been a roll. Um, I mean, we can. Oh, wait, that's a completely different. Yeah, that's a completely different dude. trying to kill that war tank after that how much money 
buy another. Okay. Oh yeah, they can fire on helicopters. Just with the gun part though. Four damage there. I think doing that would negatively affect my score. <laughs> Which is still weird. Like, damage is damage. Why punish me for it? Who's what? I had no idea those could do that. What? They're anti-tank. That's a helicopter. What the fuck? We do like no damage. Oh shit, and you, yeah, I, they counterattack. What the hell? The only bomber. Don't fight those with, This is, this is going wonderfully. I've never seen a better map before. Okay, um, well. Yeah. At this one, I honestly, I, I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna skip. We are, nothing is happening. They can't do jack shit. We can't really do anything. It's just kind of, we're sitting here waiting for planes to move. So, hold on. Okay. Well, it's done. Give me my like D rank. You're dead punk. The beast will destroy. Destroy. I'm coming for you. No, my head. What? Tech? I mean, I, I'll take an F. But the last two maps were graded really harshly. Speed, I mean, kind of makes sense. Honestly, normally whenever, whenever this happens in a map, it's just like, oh, hey, they expected you to take this long, but you took damage everywhere. Whatever, S rank, we take those. <laughs> okay, this is it. These are the coordinates Isabella gave us. Oh, there really is a shelter here. What did I tell you, folks? That girl hasn't got a lying bone in her body. I knew it right from the start. All we need now is a way to open the security doors. Ideas, anyone? Welcome to the fortress. Enter access code. The access code is of standard military issue, but I don't have the proper security clearance. Captain, do you think your clearance is high enough? I doubt it, but we've got to try. I'm only a captain, but here goes. Code number. Is this the number I... She said a number. I googled a number last. Identification error. Access denied. You have one chance remaining. Enter a valid code. Damn. Guess the politicos never planned on letting grunts into their private club. Looks like I should have taken these promotion, uh, those promotions when I had the chance. More importantly, Captain, we only have one chance remaining. I think we're done. No, don't say that. We've come so far. There must be something we can do. We have to get inside. We have to. Otherwise, Isabella will. She'll. 
We need someone with the right clearance, but... I don't see any generals or high-ranking government officials in the uh, area, Doctor. Do you happen to see the president's corpse on the way here? Perhaps he's carrying the code. That's morbid, Lieutenant, and decidedly unhelpful. <laughs> Truth be told, we don't have time to go looking for the code. Well, uh, if Isabella has the code, it's not sophisticated, but how about we start at 0000 and work our way up? Now who's being unhelpful? We'll only have one chance left. I'm merely offering suggestions. There's no need to unbraid, uh, upbraid me, so... I'm merely stating the facts. And the fact is, we have no chance of guessing the correct access, access code. We have one more try to get a 10-digit code correct. The odds of guessing it uh, right are almost zero. We're talking a probability of one in 10 billion. Now, if this was just a story and I was the hero, something miraculous would happen. I'd rather try and fail than just walk away. Anyone have a favorite 10-digit number? 10 digits. Wait a second. What is it, Will? 969-387-2914. That's 10 numbers, right? Don't tell me you actually have a favorite 10 digit number. N not exactly, no. I just have a feeling. I think that may get us inside. Well, what have we got to lose? Go ahead, Will. Right. Welcome to Fortress. Please let this work. Identification accepted. Security locks disengaging. What in the world? You did it, Will. I don't know what to say. Are you some sort of idiot savant or... <laughs> Wait, perhaps you are the president's secret child. Oh, ho, 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 ho. what? No, that's not it. It's the number Isabella, Isabella was whispering. What are you talking about? She's been saying it randomly ever since she remembered the shelter was here. In fact, she said it again just before she got sick. So once again, it's Isabella to the rescue. I feel like we've got our own guardian angel. Do you think she really is the daughter of some high ranking official? That's the one explanation I would be comfortable with. Well, in any case, we're in. And that's something to celebrate, my friends. <laughs> now that we're in, uh, now that we're in, we should be able to find the machinery and medicine we need. I'll go back down and get Isabella. No, you won't. You're not allowed to have any contact with the patient, remember? I'll take care of Isabella. Uh, it'll give me the chance to tell the mayor that we're inside. Take some of the men with you. There's no sign of hostiles, so we can't let our guard down. I'll take charge of uh, reconnoitering the shelter. Will, you're with me. Yes, sir. Okay. I like that the number was... Okay. Oh, look at that, Matt. What is that? It's just a block of... something. And then mountains for days, huh? All right. But that is going to be it. Rigs building temporary things and then saying something some units can straight up build units oh, Very Very strange change and the way it was described again. Maybe maybe when I go back and edit uh, it'll make more sense I don't know confuse the hell out of me <laughs> But that is gonna be it. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you next time Bye